Hi guys, welcome to my video. Now, disclaimer, this isn't a how-to video. This is just a video about me sharing my practice as it looks today. If you feel inspired to do something similar, great. If not, that's fine too. I'm also not going to be going into piety and zania, etc. even though that's really important too. I'm just going to be focusing on a very basic practice, okay? So the gods I honour regularly. Now the gods I honour regularly actually changes over time. At the moment I'm more regularly making weekly offerings to Homera, goddess of the day, and Persephone, goddess of the underworld, as well as my ancestors. So I also honour other gods and it's more on a monthly basis and usually on the day assigned to them, which isn't traditional but it's just easier for me. So I'll, I'll honour Aphrodite on a Friday for example, but those gods that I'm kind of offering on a more monthly basis are Aphrodite, Hermes, Artemis, Zeus, Tyche, Hestia, etc. I will pray to Tyche, for example, for good fortune. I might pray to Hermes for help with technology because it drives him mad when it doesn't work. On a more daily basis, in the morning, when I'm opening my blinds and I'm facing east, you see the sun rising and I say a prayer to Hemera and Helios. And that's a really lovely practice, actually. I try and celebrate with the gods when things go well. <laughs> don't want to talk about my relationships with the gods here because it is private, but I do have quite detailed blog posts written about Hemera, Persephone, and Aphrodite. Most used offerings are more traditional ones. I tend to give olive oil, plant milk, obviously not traditional, but I'm vegan. <laughs> frankincense, stick frankincense and resin. I usually use resin when I'm doing an offering to all of the gods at once. That usually be on a Sunday, so occasionally give grains. But I do give non-traditional offerings as well. For example, I often give Hermes coffee or tea, because I think he likes it. <laughs> a bit of fuel for him. I also dedicate activities to the gods as offerings. This is a really good way to integrate them to your daily life. I like to dedicate my skincare regime to Aphrodite on a daily basis. And I also like to dedicate my writing to Hermes. But I do other things as well. I have an altar dedicated to all of the Uranic gods, which I will show you at the end of the video. That's where I make my Uranic offerings, but I also make offerings to the Chthonic gods outside. On a monthly basis, I follow the Athenian calendar, mainly the Depnon on the dark moon and the Numenia on the new moon. I do use a journal and an online calendar to help me keep track of these things. Celebrate these in a very small way. On the many, uh, I create a Cadiscus, which is dedicated to Zeus Ketisios of the pantry. I try to empty it out on the Depnon and make a new one on Numenia. I do forget on occasion, I'll be honest. <laughs> And on Nemenia in the past, I've burned frankincense, resin, and read the Orphic Hymn to Selene. That's another thing I do sometimes. In the future, I'd actually like to make cakes on Nemenia, because I know that's something other Hellenic people do. And, you know, people like to bring in flowers and fresh greenery too. That's quite traditional. In terms of annual sort of larger festivals, I integrate them with the calendar of where I live. I, and I approach it in a syncretic manner. Um, I live in England, so that's always going to have a massive influence on how I look at festivals. I don't live in Greece, so for me, it makes more sense to grow the festivals out of my local area. I might incorporate some Hellenism into Midsummer if that's something I want to celebrate, or Yule, or what have you. So it's actually something I'm still working on. I haven't quite figured out yearly calendars you know, and which gods I would like to celebrate with their own festivals. So this is my Hellenic journal. I use this to help me keep track of the Numenia and the Depnon and any other festivals or things that are going on. I do this in a bullet journal style. I also keep track of my offerings. I just decorate it with a picture of a god <laughs> to keep it looking a little bit less boring. I also use it to record my card of the month. I use this mythic oracle, which is dedicated to the Greek gods to pick my card of the month and I just see how it plays out. So this is my Hellenic travel altar. I've actually done a whole video about this, so if you want to know what's actually in here, I'll link the video below and I'll link the other videos to my other altars <laughs> below as well, but I will show you those very briefly. It's just something I'm going to take with me when I go away or if I go to my parents' house or something. That's just a nice easy way to continue giving offerings when I'm away. So here I make offerings to all Uranic deities. You don't need to have separate altars for each deity. That would take up a lot of space. So yeah, I just keep it very simple. 
that candle is dedicated to Hestia and the actual statue is actually a depiction of I think statues that appear on Greek temples so it felt quite appropriate for an altar to all of the gods. So yeah that's my altar to all of the Uranic gods. So this is my altar dedicated to the goddess Aphrodite. Honestly it kind of ended up more of a shrine so I don't give offerings here too often. I tend to make offerings to her downstairs on the Uranic altar. But yes again very simple. I do have a video on this on my channel which I will link below. To be honest I'm probably at the point where I might change it over to a white altar again. It was white before this it's gone back to pink. But I think I'm feeling the white again, so it might be white flowers and white candles going forward. So this is my temporary altar to the goddess Persephone. It's temporary because I feel connected to her during autumn and sort of the autumn equinox, which obviously isn't a traditional Greek festival. But it is a time that is special to me and resonates with me and I feel close to her during this time. She's kind of a seasonal deity for me. So this is a temporary altar or shrine to her. To be honest, it is more of a shrine because I haven't actually made any offerings to her here. I've just carried on making offerings to her outside into the ground, which is a traditional way to honour the canonic gods. Technically, she is also an Aranic deity. She's sort of liminal, but I focus very much on her chthonic aspect so I honour her using chthonic rites. This will probably be taken down towards the end of autumn or once I feel the connection kind of fade again so it will probably go back up next year <laughs> but we'll see if I feel drawn to her in the spring or not. I don't tend to generally. It's usually just her chthonic aspect that is sort of the part I venerate. So yes this is my temporary Persephone Try. I hope that was helpful. That was just a little peek at my current sort of Hellenic spiritual practice. Obviously there is stuff I probably didn't mention. There's things I've probably forgotten to talk about. But that was just a very brief snapshot. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!